stands for building better. And why I decided to join the Farmhouse Fraternity was just that. I wanted to make sure when I came to college, I became a better man. Our goal is to build men of principle for principled life. That's our, our motto. But to put that in more average person's terms, um, basically just we try and take men and instill better values in them. As far as grades go, we all encourage each other. We all help each other out in any way possible. Like if we're struggling in the class, we help each other out. And I feel like um, just that whole brotherhood aspect of pushing each other to succeed in all these aspects, physically, intellectually, spiritually, socially, morally, um, we, we just do everything that we can to be the best or the, the fullest. Um, and it motivates you to excel in various areas, whether that be academically or spiritually or um, in various leadership opportunities on campus. You have people motivating you to do that as well, so it's not just a behavioral check, but it's also a check to make sure that you don't be apathetic in your college life. It causes you to move forward and to try new things. So I guess that's, that's not all that we stand for, but that's, that's a pretty big reason that I think fraternities are good. You get this negative perception from you know, TV and movies, even some bad characters that you um, run into on campus. Um, but Greek life is completely different from what you may perceive the negative perception. Originally, when I was in high school, I had no intention of joining a fraternity. My parents went to a school where fraternities had a very bad reputation. And so that's all I knew about it. And so likewise, I had the same mindset of fraternities. And so when I came here, some people would ask me if I was going to join a fraternity. And I said, no way, I've heard really bad things. And so they all corrected me. They all said, no, 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 at OSU, it's different. Um, fraternities aren't, aren't the stereotypes. They aren't all about um, partying or like all those things that you might hear in movies and such. Um, it's a great thing to get involved in. You should look into it, so I did. And several, um, I guess what motivated me the most is several people that went to my church that were older than me had joined fraternities. And so I kind of started to think, well, maybe it's not such a bad idea. So I talked to several of them about it. Um, coming into college, I didn't know anything about Greek life, you know, except for the negative perceptions that I had. And um, I ended up rushing a few fraternities. And um, all I did was their websites. So it was really, it's really hard coming in and not knowing anything about Greek life. But I got contacted by um, the rush chair, Scott Sharbach um, from Farmhouse. And, you know, he just really told me about Greek life. And at first I was just kind of like, Farmhouse? Like, <laughs> um, I never thought I would end up here. People don't join fraternities for the sole purpose of partying. And they don't join for the sole purpose of drinking. And all the stereotypes you might find, people do do those things, and yet it's it's not as big of a percentage, and it's definitely not a driving factor to join as people might think. Oklahoma State, 20% is Greek life, and then the rest is not Greek life. Um, and so when you expand out and meet people outside of Greek life, it is so awesome to see what what the true culture is at Oklahoma State. Because the true culture is not just Greek life, and it's not just not Greek life. <laughs> that is the double negative. It's not just people outside of Greek life. The true culture is people in, it's the accumulation of people in Greek life, out of Greek life. Um, GPSGA, which is um, the grad student program. Um, just everyone on campus, they consist of the culture. I think people on either side of the issue each think that their, their particular state is superior to the others. People from fraternities think, oh, it's the best thing. You can't have fun if you're not in a fraternity. You can't enjoy college if you're not in a fraternity. And the people not in fraternities will say, fraternities are bad. Like, it's much better to not be in one. And they both think that what they're doing is superior. And I think that if someone were to step back and be objective, they'd realize that's not, that's not true. Um, I would just encourage everyone to at least have a Greek life friend if you're not in Greek life. Um, and vice versa, if you're in Greek life, make sure that you strive to you know, get out there and meet people who aren't in Greek life.